Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch or Benji Kanata here with Pixelmon number 87. Oh, that was my microwave. Did you hear that? I heard it. I love it. I love it so much. Oh man, it's awesome. But I wanted to say that in this episode, Jerome and I are back on the hunt to look for the Jigglypuff biome, the Forest Hills biome. And will we find it? I hope so. You'll have to see for yourself. And um, apart from that, just enjoy the episode. Slap that like button with your forehead. I love when I have your support and I'll see you dudes all later. Take care. Jerome! It's time we blow this popsicle stand, On the buddy. board! <laughs> I'm jumping on my nice Audi. Oh, there we go. Getting on my Ferrari. Oh. Let's head out, and we're going to look for the Forest Hills biome now. Jerome, which Ferrari is that? Because I know you got a few of those. Oh, the, all of them. Nice. Uh, the Ferrari Rayquaza. It's, uh, Ferrari Rayquaza? That's a nice It's our addition. latest model. Yeah. I picked one of those up myself. I just really like them. Yeah, right? I know. They're absolutely amazing. Yeah, they're phenomenal. Well, anyways, welcome back to Pixelmon, everybody, with Mitch and Jerome. And in this episode, we're on the hunt for that Jigglypuff again. Oh, I just seen a band of Mineshaft underground. No, oh, not again. Not again, Mitch. I found another Shelter Island with an absurd amount of trainers for that land space. No, ignore it. You didn't see it. You didn't see it. There's a lot of trainers and craziness here. I'm going to jump off my, my guy for a second. I'm curious. So we got a Haunter. What is all here? You found a landmass already? Yeah. Winter biome. With a lot of random Pokemon here. A good variety. Some cheese. Yes. I found an island without shelter on it. I find it weird that all the trainers spawn on the shelter islands. Like, it's definitely, like, programmed in as an actual biome type or something, you know? It must be, yeah. It's so strange. Very strange, sir. All right, I'm going to jump back aboard in a second. I just wanted to walk around real quick. Maybe see if I find a Piplup. Piplup. Pip. A people up. Fly. Fly, my pretty fly. As you said that, I started to go for a swim. Come on, Rayquaza. I think that happens whenever the biome can't, or, or the uh, block can't render quick enough. I think that's what happens. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Yes. Yes. I'm just laughing, imagining what Quentin and Ian are going to think when they just come on today and they're just like, why is the world size like three times as big of a file now? <laughs> Chat. What happened here? Uh, I found a little shelter island with only three of them on it and no trainers. Exactly how they should be. Good, good. The world is as it should be, Mitch. I feel like now that we're going so far out, more Pokemon are spawning. Like, in each section. Like, it's ridiculous. I used to always come across barren landscapes when we were local to our home. Here, it's like galore everything well you're lucky i haven't found any landscape i'm still ocean bioming pixelmon on pixelmon on pixelmon stacks on stacks is that a boss lantern i think it might be it is a boss lantern well wow, i just looked i'm like he looks a lot more red than usual oh i just found well, a boss drifloon <laughs> wow this is perfect yeah i'm just fighting him because i mean hey he's a water type might as well hit him with the chief oh my god he confused the chief <laughs> Have you noticed Confusion only does 1 HP damage when you hit yourself in this, as opposed to the real game where it does, like, 80 million? Is it really that low? Yeah, it only does 1 HP per time you hit yourself. At least, in my case. It's been like that for a while. Maybe it's because I'm a cheater. <laughs> oh my god, that's right, Lantern isn't just Water-type, he's Electric as well, so my Electric-type moves are just... negligible. Okay. I really want to store these items, but there's no way I'm losing my spawn here. Not happening. I actually can't beat him like that. Oh my god. I'm going to throw out Purple Booty. I, I legitimately can't beat him. Are you serious? Well, my thing is just electric, and he keeps he, he has a, an auto-heal thing. Is healed by its ring. What does that even mean? Drum, do you want to teleport to me so I can go store my items? Because this is a good area to explore. I think we want to check this area out. There's a huge uh, land mess. Sure, let me just keep trying to... See if I can at least make a dent on this thing. Because I want to store these TMs and stuff in case I find more bosses. This is absolutely ludicrous, Mitch. I, why are lanterns really this powerful? They just every turn they heal themselves. Not very much, but it's enough. It is. Weedle, weedle, weed, weedle, weed. All right, so I'm in forest. I'm looking forward to update to forest hills. Please, please, please. The wild lantern fainted. What the heck? 
He just exploded. Like, all of a sudden, he's like, my heart's going to give out now. And he just died. <laughs> he had, like, almost full... I don't even know what just happened. He couldn't handle it, dude. All right, so you want me to TP over to you? Yeah, and then pretty much any direction you go in is unexplored. All right, bombs away. Well, which way did you come from? Just so I know. Uh, just if you see the ocean turn around, you're going the wrong way. Like, you're pretty close to the ocean. All right, so I'll go off in this direction. I just want to make sure I don't start heading back home because I spent a lot of time going out in this direction. Yep, I agree. All right. On to my car. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm off. All right. I have no more Master Balls, so... Yes, That's I'll good. I'll grab some of these random ones. I have one Master Ball. Why? What's up? No, just in case I find something cool. Oh, I was gonna say, like, you seem very nonchalant for finding a legendary. No, no, I haven't found I'm just saying, like, if I want to have some stuff on me. Oh, but who would want that? To capture it. No, not not for legendaries, for shinies and cool stuff. Who would want that? Yeah, probably someone who's absolutely out of their mind. Mm-hmm. 145%. Yep. That's I found the ocean, but I think it's a different ocean. Luxury ball, yes. All right, this is a forest, and I see a hill. I don't know if that makes it a forest hills biome, but... All right. I see you on your Ferrari. Let's see. It is a forest. Forest. That's fine. Just give me one big spike in a hill. That's all we need. <laughs> one little spot that lasts two seconds is plenty. Oh my god, this is absolutely ludicrous. It's it's there, it just doesn't exist, Mitch. All right, I'm gonna look this up. Forest Hill biome. Minecraft. Here we go. Um. Thing is, the hill part of it, I think, is just like a sub biome. Like, I think every biome can be a hill. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have. You know, I don't know how to put forest, it. You know, flower forest. What? That exists? Oh, I must be 1.7. Okay. Mitch, I'm 30,000 feet above. I'm flying above the clouds. Nice. Forest. 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 If each block represents one meter in Minecraft, the clouds are very low, I just realized. Have you noticed that? Um, clouds are only a couple hundred feet up. Drone? Yeah? You'll know if it's a forest hills if it's birch trees. That's the only way? Yeah. The only place where you'll find a f that is with the birch trees. I just looked it up. Oh and that's God. what it looks like. There's nothing called forest hills. It's birch forest hills. I surrender. You give up? You concede <laughs> to the Jigglypuff? Not yet. We'll give it this whole episode, but that's about it. Oh, another Eevee. Don't need you, though. Ice Plains. Ice Mountains. I'm at an Ice Mountain biome. Isn't that where uh, Articuno spawns? Uh, yeah. I think it's, like, unless there's extreme Ice Mountain. But he spawns in the Mountains of Ice, yes. Ice Plains. I'm ever wondering why I have F3 up as well. It's because it tells me what biome it's in. Just so I can make sure when I'm passing by. Because sometimes you can't tell, you yep. know? Forest. All right, Ghastly, if you really want to do this, I'll kill you. Come on. There we go. Let me free. Uh, another Eevee. Wow. Bunch of Eevees. Don't need them, though. Forest. Forest. Plains. Forest. I wonder how much of a boss you must feel like to fly around on a Rayquaza. <laughs> it's got to feel good. Now imagine this was real life, and it's just like, yeah, you know. Definitely an ego boost. Or 20. This is my new car. <laughs> yeah, I ride this. Look at me, I'm riding dirty. Guy pulls up in his car. That's fine, I guess. Let me just drop into this party in a Rayquaza. Smash it through the ceiling. Hey, guys. <laughs> what up? I brought chips. And dip. No, no, no. Never do that, Mitch. What? It's too much. Are you nuts? What do you mean it's too much to bring the dip to? It's too much, Mitch. How could that ever be too much? It's never enough. I thought we've gone true. over this. Jerome. It usually is never enough, Mitch, but if you're already flying in a Rayquaza, you don't want to give them too much. No, Jerome. 
drunk. I mean, I thought you had an understanding of how things worked in the world. But I guess I was wrong. Oh, I know how they work. <laughs> There's so much stuff I could train on here, but I don't want to train. I just want to explore again. Come on, Forest Hills! Reveal yourself! Show me your true beauty! I don't believe it's gonna happen. Alright, here's the forest. I see some birch trees. And that's there's no hills, so I don't see any hills. If I can ask you one thing, Mitch. Have you ever been recognized in real life? Like, at a place? Yeah. I don't know. I just felt like I did it. It happened to me the other day, and I was at the mall, and I was like, oh my god, what? What is this? I mean, it happens from time to time. It really does, but it's, like, still a shocker every yeah, time. Yeah, no, it's whenever like... it happens, it's somewhere, like, when you go to an event or something, you expect it to happen. But when it's, like, you're just going, you're getting a haircut. Oh, ha, 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 What? Yes! Forest Hills. You found it? Yes, I did. Nice. But yeah, yeah, I was just sitting in the mall, and this kid, Chris, comes up, and he's like, hello, and I was like, hello, and he's like, draw, and I was like, hello. Hey, are, you, are you the real draw? Draw, draw, draw! Like no, that. no, he was really, he was really nice and polite about it. I was just like, hey, man, what's up? And it, it was so weird to me. Like, I, I've been recognized before in, like, conventions and stuff, and when you get recognized outside of it, it's just so different, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I was in, uh, when I, whenever, I swear, whenever I go Mitch, in hurry and TP to me, because there's a Pichu down there. I've never seen that before. All right. No, it's the weirdest thing. Whenever I go to my parents in Pennsylvania, if I drive anywhere, literally, there's one day I went to the bank. I didn't get recognized as Beijing Canadian there, but the bank lady knew who I was because, you know, she's uh, she's a babe. But anyways, that, that that's a joke. But no, I, I go to get a haircut. I'm leaving the hairdressers. As I walk out, this kid opens the door and he goes, wait a second, Mitch? And I'm just like, oh no, here we go. <laughs> it's cool though. Okay, TP over second. And the then piece. I go to Panera Bread right after getting a haircut, and another person at Panera Bread knew who I was. I was like, really? Twice? Mitch, hurry and TP over. He's so far away, he's gonna despawn. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I have a Pichu for you already. A Pichu? Not Pikachu. Pichu. Yeah, I have Pichu. I've, oh. I've had the Pikachu family for a while. I didn't even know Pichu was in this game. Yeah. Did you ever get the Elect Kid? Uh, yeah. Alright, I got Pichu. Forest Hills, Forest Hills. Oh, yeah, I know. Coolest one for me was at my local pizzeria, because I go there all the time. Oh, we, like... we were both there one day, and there was that little girl. Yeah, there was another day, too, though. <laughs> it's insane. It's just, it's so cool. Like, I love it. It just catches you off guard so much. You're like, oh, my God, because you do all your work on the Internet. You don't expect to be recognized in, the you know, real life. Yeah. <laughs> the worst, though, is in New Jersey when you're with Klein Bagel, because... Sam oh. likes to, no matter where you go, we're playing basketball. There's little kids on the other side of the court. He goes to the kids and just yells, Hey, do you know who Jerome and Sam are Beijing Canadian are? And they're just like, yeah, we know them. They didn't realize it was us, though. <laughs> oh, man, too funny. God, Sam. What a beautiful, beautiful bagel. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do, Mitch. We might have to stake out this, you know what? Just get the coordinates. I'm marking the coordinates right there. That way, if we ever want to come back here, we can just TP over. But I'm just looking around. Ugh, it's going to be so weird because the Jigglypuff has to randomly generate, and it's a rare spawn. And the Forest Hill is pretty small. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my like... God. I'm just glad we finally found one. I think what we might have to do is log this area and periodically TP over, just see if we can find one. Like, oh, we can't, okay, and just move on, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm fighting a boss, Ghastly. Firestone, drop it, I know you want to. Nope. Um, I'm going to keep looking for other forest hill biomes, just because this one's so small. Yeah, I'm seeing this area over here is also... Cons nope, this area is not. It's just that one thing. That's that one saying, little patch. It's just the hill part. It's tiny. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I really think it's a, like a sub biome. I don't think forest biome or forest hill biome's a real thing. You know? Yeah, I agree. Let me look around. Doing my part, though. I'm doing my part. Getting it done. Getting her done. Getting her done. Come on. At least show me something cool this episode. Besides disappointment, we found the forest hills, but nothing in it. What's wrong with disappointment? I guess. 
I did get my family one year a big box of disappointment. I took huh. I took a huge box, huge, the biggest moving box I could find, and I wrapped it up, and that was it. There was nothing in it. <laughs> really? Yeah, there was nothing in it. Why'd you do that? Oh my god. <laughs> that was like four years ago. It was pretty funny. You know what's great though is, see, giving gifts, it's not about spending the most money. It's about being the most thoughtful. Because if you ask my family if they remember any gifts in the last few years, that's the only gift they're going to remember is the big box of disappointment that I gave. Because <laughs> it was original. I love gift giving. I, I always I always like to do whatever I can. I, I like to make them as special as possible. Yeah, so do I. That's why I give special gifts and I don't buy things because... Well, money doesn't buy happiness. Big boxes of disappointment. Yeah, it does, it does, money doesn't buy Big happiness. Big boxes of disappointment buy money, happiness. Money can still buy gifts that are said to be thoughtful. Like, you can have a gift that's thoughtful and it costs money. It's not like money takes thoughtfulness out of the equation. You don't need it, but I, I see what you're saying. I'm just saying you don't need it. Oh, but I wasn't trying money to bring take up it out a philosophical argument or discussion. I was literally just making an ass of myself by joking about how big boxes of disappointment bring happiness, but it's okay. You can get all surfs on me. All right, I'm looking around, Mitch. I don't think there's any <laughs> Jigglypuff here. I think, is there any way to make a teleport? You, you can, by coordinate, right? Uh, let's find out. Because what we'll need to do is go back to our house, and we can just make yep. a teleporter. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, I'm underground. I'm dying. That's smart. Oh, okay. by the way, Jerome, and anyone watching, I just want to give you a pro tip that um, small boxes of disappointment don't have the same impact because the following year I tried to give a small box to my mom. I made her think it was like a nice pair of earrings or something. It didn't have the same effect. So you might want to just stick to the big boxes. All right, Mitch. That's, my, can... that's my pro, pro Christmas tip giving stuff of the day. Although I think this episode is airing after Christmas. But anyways, for the holidays oh. or birthdays, <laughs> just remember, find a huge box Make sure it's very, very empty, and wrap it nicely. Okay. Well, Mitch, if you're back at our spawn, can you set up a command block? Command block? You might have to go into creative mode to do it, just so we can get a teleporter. I don't even know. You can't creative mode command blocks, and you have to spawn them somehow. Oh. Do you know how to? Nope. Well, we got to get one to this area. We have one already. I'm just going to change this TNT one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Where is it, anyways? Uh, it should be under in, in the main floor of the house underwater if you just go through the door and you take a right and you swim up and it's right there all right i don't think you can break them and pick them up though can you i wasn't gonna move it i was just gonna change the command to a tp command ah well then every time we step on that one pressure plate which is tp oh we'll just rechange our spawn that's okay i'll just change no, our spawn. fine just no i like the that coordinates do it. And no we'll just figure... do it just do it just do it now do it now no i refuse we're going to figure out how to get our own command blocks in, because there's obviously a way. So next episode, that's what we'll do. We're going to get a command block. We're going to set it with the coordinates. So we'll see you dudes all later. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Of course, if you did, slap that like button on your forehead. And uh, ignore all my rambling about the big bosses. It was a funny and, and thoughtful Christmas gift, but I would not recommend doing that. <laughs> and apart from that, we'll see you dudes all later. Take care.